Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. Hey, we are a show where we're crazy passionate about everything gardening. So crazy, as a matter of fact, that we are over here at Tualatin Elementary today. Uh, today is that big groundbreaking ceremony. I am totally excited. I want to see these kids. I want to see them plant. But we're just going to officially break ground. I want to interview. So hopefully, hopefully this will be very interesting. It's very exciting for me. I'm glad I'm here, but let's take a look. People ask me, what, what happened to our old gardener? Can we bring components over to our school? Yeah, yeah. We talked a lot about how we could do that. So our PTA president, Emma Gray, is somebody who's been really yeah, yeah. Um, a supporter of our garden. So she and I got together and said, why don't we just, why don't we start talking to the community and see if there are uh -huh. people that can help us and are interested. And we had so many people come out and want to support us. We have some okay. people volunteering their time. And then we started asking kids what they would want to see here. And they came up with some incredible drawings and ideas. They want... One student even wanted a rainbow and a golf course. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay. On that, but we'll be able to... Um, Fighting green, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Water feature, butterfly garden. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of how we started and started planning with kids and yeah. evolved from there. So now how did... Uh, so we're going to do it right out here? Yeah. Or is this entire area going to be the... This is the... This area here is going to be... The entire area is going to be the garden. And that, as you can see, is really a swampy area. Uh -huh. So that was... Yeah. It was sort of twofold because... Sure. Yeah. That, we thought, how, what are we going to do with this swampy area? Yeah. People always ask us, it was a drainage problem with the, the district. So we thought, yeah. how can we turn this into a positive so we can turn it into a garden and use that puddle as um, a starting point for some sort of pond or water. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. We're trying to turn this swampy area into a place where kids can come and, and walk and read and learn. We have, we'll have vegetable gardens and flower garden beds there and... Um, yeah, so this is stage one. Yeah. You know, we're still... This is very exciting. So I am talking with Paul Taylor, that designer for this garden. I want, Paul, I just have some questions for you because I want to hear about your vision for this area. Sure. Well, um, what we did was we talked to the teachers and the children at the school, mm -hmm. and um, we did a whole bunch of visioning. And we tried to listen to what they wanted, and some of the great ideas that they had mm -hmm. is what became this design. And uh, what we've got going on is there's a vegetable garden that we're going to be working on. Okay. We kind of orient okay. and, um, design here. Actually, you know what? Point it, point it out sure. to me. What do you think? The uh, vegetable gardens are going to go back in through here. They're raised beds. Raised beds here? Tomorrow, Saturday. Ah, that's where the white lines are. The okay. White lines are. There is a puddle over here that will eventually become a pond. A pond, okay. A pond, and then there will be a stream that's going along the school there, and it's um, far, far enough away from the building, so we're not going to have any trouble with it. But there will be a creek that um, goes along there and then hooks up with the other wet areas. Ah, okay, so this is kind of a, you're going to do a natural wetland or wet area. That's correct. Okay. Um, then we have a... Um, shed that's going to be built. Uh, hopefully we've got an um, Eagle Scout candidate who's going to be working with us on that. And Those Eagle Scouts. Volunteering his time and effort on that. There will be um, trails throughout this area. Trails right, right through around here. Around okay. yeah, yeah. From the pond area so that the kids and the teachers can use this as a sanctuary, um, a place where they can come and get back to nature. Um, they can learn a lot about nature. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a butterfly garden area that was one of the areas that the kids wanted. Okay. This. And um, they're going to be taking the food that they raise in these beds and using it in the cafeteria. That's another um, important wow, piece. How, how neat that is. Yeah. Thank you. 
to sing. Little plants will wake up soon and lift their sleepy heads. Little plants will grow and grow in their little warm earth beds. What is your name? Heidi Williams. Heidi Williams. Now, did you, Heidi, what, uh, where did that poem come from? Um, well, I don't really know. So you just read that nice poem. Mm -hmm. You're a really good reader. Do you read a lot? Yeah. Do you? You like to read? Yeah. Do you? What, uh, what about this garden thing? What did, did you do anything about this garden? Are you excited about it? Yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. What's it, what are you hoping for? Basketball court? No. no. Soccer field or flowers? What are you thinking? Flowers, probably. She likes flowers. You, so what, you like to smell flowers? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you? What was your favorite color? Purple. Purple? She likes purple. <laughs> you said that right real fast. So uh, are you going to be working here um, at all on Saturday, Sunday? No. No, no. You're just here for the... Uh, for the opening ceremony and then that's pretty much that's it yeah ceremonial garden i say you like to garden at home um no not really sometimes though not really sometimes so do you help out in the garden at home um yeah sometimes mm -hmm. or are you forced to work in the garden um sometimes i want to but sometimes i don't really Okay. Okay. Well, you did a such a wonderful job reading that poem. I, I I liked it. You did a good job. Thank you. Well, thank you. So, what what did it feel like to be a shoveler out there? Um, I don't know. Do you shovel at home? Sometimes. Sometimes. Um. Yeah. Do you do you work in the garden at home? Um. Yeah. When you're forced to. Huh? When you're forced to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about this garden? What are you, what are you hoping to see out here? Um, like a good garden. A good garden? What's a good garden? Like tomatoes or you're thinking like a basketball court? Tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes, really? What about a place to sit and study? What do you think about that idea? Yeah, it's kind of good. <laughs> kind of good? What's your favorite color? I'm blue. Blue? What, do, you, do you plant any blue flowers at all? Um, no. <laughs> okay. okay. Hi. Hi. That's just incredible that these kids are going to have a garden here. I think it's such a great idea. And 
boy, if this can really come together, it would be something neat, especially since this is all dirty, muddy, unused area. Picture perfect for a garden. Picture perfect to change their life. Anyway, as I'm also excited about this time capsule, I'm thinking that we're going to dig a ditch later on and then <laughs> accidentally pick, dig up that time capsule. I just want to make sure it's deep enough. Anyway, that's the show for the day. I hope you enjoy. Always, always, always live your passion.